piggies. Gotta love them. They might have a reputation as being a kind of messy animal, but there's a lot more to our porky pals than meets the eye. To start, they're some of the smartest animals out there, and they're full of personality. Do you know that a lot of people keep pigs as pets? First, you need to decide what kind of pig. And you might end up falling in piggy love with these incredibly rare ones. From the chubby pig in China to Australia's cutest piglet, here's 20 pigs that are only born once in a thousand years. <sighs> Number 20. Mei Shan Pig. The Meishan is a breed of domestic pig named after the Chinese prefecture of, would you believe it? Meishan. It's a subgroup of the Taihu pig, and it's a small to medium-sized breed with large ears that hang down and wrinkled black skin, especially on the face. The breed that comes from China grows slowly and are seriously chunky, but they taste really good, I hear. Compared to many other domesticated breeds, they're less likely to get diseases and can eat a lot of roughage. Look at those ears, too. This is a cute pig, and it's also pretty big, so there's no denying that. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. We've all heard of truck nuts, but this is the latest crazy innovation in unusual decor from the US. Pig nuts. And yes, it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like, a giant pair of nuts to put on your pig. Apparently in the world of pig farmers in the US, there's nothing more important than showing off what a guy your best boar is. So the race has been on for a few years to use prosthetics to flex those giant nuts and let the world know that your pet piggy is the man. And any sows in the area better watch out for this dude as he's clearly ready for some loving soon. What do you think about pig nuts? Would you get these for your pet pig or heck for yourself? Hey, look at these nuts over here. As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion to what we just showed on screen. Which are these nuts? All right, let's move on to the next one before I go nuts. Number 19, the Duroc. No one knows for sure where the Duroc breed came from. Around 1800, several strains of red pigs were raised in the US in places like New York and New Jersey. The Jersey Red from New Jersey and the Duroc from New York were crossed to make the modern Duroc. The Durocs were shorter and more compact than the Jersey Reds, which were long and skinny and grew to be quite big when they were fully grown. The Duroc was brought to Australia for the first time in 1922, and by 1936 it was a very popular pig. But over time, the breed lost popularity and died out in the early 1940s. In 1981, however, the Duroc was brought back to life in Australia. New Zealand and Canada provided the new bloodlines. The Duroc is a late maturing, large frame type that's great for meat. The head and neck are especially light, and the ears are small and lopped. The skin is a solid reddish color that changes from gold to a deep brick red. Wow, Golden Pig kind of sounds like something from a fairy tale. They're about the same length and have slight slants to their faces. The Duroc was brought to Australia so a third breed could be made. It's used as a sire in crossbreeding programs with large white land race cross sows. This cross works well for the bacon business, which is good news for people who like bacon, but maybe bad news for all these pigs who are going to end up on a lot of Australian brekkie plates. Number 18. The Kune Kune Pig. The Kune Kune is a breed of pig that belongs to the genus Sus. Researchers put these animals in the same family as river hogs, warthogs, bobby rusas, and other similar animals. The European wild boar, or Sus scrofa, is where all domesticated pigs originally come from. The genetic traits of the Kune Kune breed of pig are the same of all the Suide members. It's got a big head, a long snout, and a nose that looks like a round disc. It has four toes on each foot. The two main toes are bigger than the other two. At the shoulders, most Kune Kune adults are about 2 feet tall. They can weigh anywhere from 100 to 400 pounds. That's one big pig. Anyone can recognize a pig snout, but did you know that the shape of their nose is actually made from a flat piece of cartilage? This stiff cartilage helps them dig and pull their food out of the ground. They use their strong sense of smell to find food underground, and then they use their sniffer nose as a shovel to dig it up. But this breed doesn't root very often. The unique wattles that hang from their chins set this breed apart from many others. These horns, which are called piri piri, only grow on some kune kune pigs. All pigs have coarse hair growing out of their skin, but this breed takes it a step further. These animals have a thick layer of hair that makes them look like they have a ton of fur, so it might be an awesome pig if you wanted a cuddly friend. 
Number 17. Berkshire Pig The Berkshire breed, which is also called the Ladies Pig, is a great starter pig for first-time pig owners. The Berkshire is hard to beat because it's really smart, has a great personality, is super friendly, is of a good size, and has some really good meat, if you're gonna eat your friend, that is. If you choose the Berkshire, you're really buying a piece of living history, which is an added bonus. Some people think it's been around even longer as far back as Oliver Cromwell's time, when his troops camped in the Thames Valley and ate delicious pork. This was around the 17th century during the English Civil War. Cromwell's side won, so maybe those morning Berkshire sausages were the difference. Number 16. The Mangalica. Can you imagine what it would look like if a pig and a sheep had a baby? Wait a sec, you don't have to. The Mangalica pig is a living example of what this mix might look like. The actual nickname for it is the pig sheep. This unique pig with long, woolly fleece has a complicated past and has made a strong comeback. This pig is originally from Hungary, and its back is covered with fluffy white curls that get longer in the winter, just like a sheep's fleece. Even though most of them are blonde, they can still be red or have a black and white snow tail pattern. Black Mangalica died out and don't exist anymore. It's one of the oldest breeds of pig in Europe, having been around since the 1800s. The Sumadija and Zalonta pigs were crossed to make the Mangalica, which was first raised for only the royal Habsburg family. In the hundred years from 1850 to 1950, the pig's popularity grew as people bred them for their fat, which could be used for cooking, making cosmetics, making candles, and even making bombs. For their fat, which could be used for cooking, making cosmetics, making candles, and even making bombs. The end of World War II was horrible for Hungary and Mangalica farming almost died out completely. In the 1990s, there were only about 30 Mangalica females that could have babies. However, this breed was saved by a businessman who saw a chance to bring it back to life. Hungary now has more than 25,000 Mangalica living there, which is 120 times more than there were 30 years ago. Turns out the sheep pig is a story with a happy ending. Sort of. I mean, they're all getting killed and eaten, but like, kinda happy. Number 15. The Large White Pig. The large white pig, also called a Yorkshire, is a breed of pig that comes from the English county of Yorkshire. It's also called a Yorkshire or an English large white. In Canada and the US, the large white breed is called the large Yorkshire or the improved large Yorkshire, which is a kind of cool name, I think. Large white pigs are well known in Great Britain where they're thought to be the best breed for making bacon. They're more common in Canada than any other breed and a lot of them are now being brought to the US. This breed of pig is known for being the most productive breed of pig in the world and also for being a great mother. Like many other types of domestic pigs, large white pigs are very good at having babies. They get along with each other and have a lot of piglets. So pretty soon you'd end up with a whole family of little piggies. Number 14. Hampshire Pig The Hampshire breed of hogs is likely the oldest early American breed still around today. The Old English breed was the previous name for these pigs. This is the fourth most recorded breed of pigs raised as livestock in the U.S. according to the National Swine Registry. It's also likely the oldest breed of pig in the U.S. It has strong muscles and lean meat. People think that it came from the English breed, which lives in Northern England and Scotland. People also think that the breed came to the U.S. from Hampshire, England between 1827 and 1839. Well, eh, what do people know? Well, as it turns out, a lot, when it comes to pigs anyway. The Hampshire pig has straight ears and a black body with a white band that goes around the middle and covers the front legs, which is a pretty iconic look for this famous breed. Number 13, Piatrain pig. The Piatrain pig breed comes from Wallonia, which is the southern part of Belgium where most people speak French. The Piatrain pig gets its name from a small village in Belgium called Piatrain. In the 1950s, the Piatrain pig breed first became popular, and soon after it was sent to other countries. It's a medium-sized breed that's white with black spots. Around the black spots, there's rings of light pigmentation that contain white hairs. People often say that the breed has piebald markings, even though this isn't technically true. The ear stands straight, though, and that gives it a fun and friendly look. The Piatrain really is the Arnold Schwarzenegger of pigs. A good Piatrain has well-defined muscles that move in waves, but thank goodness these pigs are big but totally gentle. They look like they could tear you in half, but all they want is a pat on the head and some tasty food. The Piatrain is the leanest of all the lean pigs, and its meat is so lean and good apparently that all over the world it's the thing that they use to cross and prove other fatter breeds. Since the Piatrain is known for its size and quality of its hams, the bigger the male, the better. It's got some big hams for sure, and it also has some other, uh, pretty impressive parts, let's just say. 
Number 12. Mulefoot Pig The Mulefoot Pig is a rare breed of domesticated pig whose lean meat is sometimes eaten. It comes from Spain and is called a mule foot because its hooves are whole. Such traits can sometimes be caused by a single gene mutation, so mule-footed pigs can be found in a wide range of breeds. No one knows where the mule foot pig came from, but it probably started when the Spanish brought pigs to the Gulf Coast. As far back as Aristotle, people have written about pigs with only one hoof. But the mule foot pig is the only group of pigs that can be thought of as a breed with a standard type and many uses in agriculture. Around the middle of the 20th century, the total population of the breed started to go down rapidly. One breeder, R.M. Holliday of Louisiana, Missouri, started the last pure breed herd of mule foot pigs, which died out by 1964. By 1976, the breed's registries were closed and the herd brooks, pedigrees, and other records of registration were lost. The mule foot pig is about the size of a small dog and most of the time it's black, rarely it has white spots on the body. Some have waddles on both sides of the necks, but it's not very common. Most of the time their ears are turned forward. Here's rooting for a mule foot revival one day. Number 11. The Tamworth The Tamworth, which is also called Sandyback and Tam, is a breed of domesticated pig that got its start in a town of the same name in Staffordshire, UK. Irish pigs also contributed to the breed. It's one of the oldest pig breeds, but like many older livestock breeds, it doesn't do well with modern farming methods. The Rare Breeds Survival Trust listed as threatened in the US and vulnerable in the UK. There's less than 300 registered breeding females left. This animal is ginger and red in color, and it's thought to come from wild boars through the pigs that were already living in Europe. The UK, Australia, the US, New Zealand, and Canada have the most Tamworths living there today. The most important thing about the Tamworth is how well it can handle harsh weather. So the breed does well in places like Scotland and Canada, which are further north and have really cold winters and chilly strong winds. From 1913 to the middle of the 20th century, up to 10% of all pigs in Canada were of this breed. In Australia, the breed peaked around the middle of the 20th century when there were about a thousand of them. In each of the five recognized countries where these animals live, modern herds are almost too small to give a good guarantee of survival. Number 10. Piglet with a monkey's face. Now we'll talk about the pig that was born with the face of a monkey. This one is really pretty scary. This strange looking pig was born in Gizu, Providence in 2016 as one of 15 piglets. It has close set eyes, a flat nose, and a mouth that looks like more of a monkey than a pig. The mutant piglet can't get food from its mother, so the farmer who owns it has to feed it with a bottle. The eyes are also slightly different sizes, which makes it look even crazier. And its tongue also tends to hang out of its mouth, which hardly diminishes the crazy look either, shall we say. People in China have been looking for someone to blame for this mutant pig. Some say pollution is to blame, while others say genetically modified pig food is. Its owner, a farmer who grows vegetables, is happy to just give it the best milk and help it grow up the best it can. Others, on the other hand, thought that the mommy piglet might have been having an affair, probably with a cute monkey from a nearby zoo. If they find out that the piglet really likes bananas, they might be onto something. Number 9. Mutant pig with two bodies and one head baffles scientists. Scientists think that a piglet born in Brazil with two bodies and one head might have been born that way because its parents were related. When it was born in May of 2022 at São Miguel de Oste, Santa Carinta State, southern Brazil, the strange creature was sadly already dead. From the chest down, the pig has two separate bodies, but only one has a head. The piglet was born with two legs in front and two on the back. It also has what looks like a second head that hasn't fully grown out of its back. Scientists from the University of West Santa Catarina Center for Wildlife Studies are trying to figure out what it is. The experts now know that what it actually is is two sows joined at the head and chest sharing a single heart. Ultrasound and x-ray scans have shown that they only have separate organs like kidneys and bladders from the middle of the body down. They think that the genetic defects in the pigs may have been caused by their environment or by microorganisms, but he says that it could have been caused by inbreeding as well. Number 8. A mutant pig born with human features and a penis on its face. You ready for something strange? Here's the crazy weird mutant pig with a human face, a big tongue, and a penis on its forehead. And someone in China caught it on video. It's not clear where the video came from, but people on Chinese social media sites are confused by it to say the least. As the tiny piglet is held up to the camera, it can be seen yawning and gasping for air. People online have made guesses about what might have caused the weird shape of the thing. Some people think that the strange way the pig looked was caused by pollution in the environment. No one knows where the disturbing video came from, nor if the piglet lived or died. 
And this isn't the first time a pig has been born with a really abnormal face. From South America to China, new mutant pigs are being found all the time. Because of the amount of inbreeding and the fact that billions of pigs are born in the US every year, these mutations happen more and more as man screws around with nature a little bit too much. Number 7. Mutant human face like newborn pig hybrid in South America. Back in 2020, a video of a Venezuelan man holding a newborn mutant piglet went viral on social media, making this lockdown piggy star as famous as those dancing nurses and pretty much all on Netflix. People say that the piglet was born with hair on its face and a body that didn't really seem to belong there, but no one knows yet why the pig was born with this birth defect. The piglet was born in Venezuela, in the Quibrada Arriba neighborhood of the Torres municipality of the Caora and state of Lara. Residents and farmers in the area were shocked when they saw a mutant pig with a human face, the news said. People in the area said that the piglet had human eyes and hair when it was born, which must have been a pretty freaky thing to see. There's absolutely no way that I can hear about this story without thinking about the Briss episode of Seinfeld where Kramer sees the pig man. Pig man, baby, pig man! The government's been experimenting with pig men since the 50s! Number 6. Rare piglet baffles villagers after she's born with two heads, two snouts, and three eyes. In 2019, this time in the Philippines, another rare piglet was born with two heads, two snouts, and three eyes. This video, which was taken in the village of Kalian, shows the bizarre animal being held by its owner. The unusual piglet, whose name is Mara Clara, was cared for and kept in a separate enclosure for her own safety. In the video, the owner of Mara Clara holds her piglet in front of the locals and the animal wiggles around in her arms. She then puts the piglet next to its mother, who's in another pen, and it can be seen suckling like any other hungry little piglet. Even though the piglet looks unusual, it has two working snouts that let it latch onto her mother's nipples at the same time. When the piglet was born, they were surprised by how they looked, but now they're just happy that it's healthy. She said, I think the piglet's lucky. This is so rare. It's amazing that she survived and that she's healthy. She has a lot of energy, just like her brothers and sisters. I'll take care of her and give her special treatment. Many people thought she wouldn't survive, but she's strong and she's proven them all wrong. It's great to know that this lucky pig has a really caring owner. Number five, a deformed piglet born without hind legs has become a local celebrity in China's Sichuan province. Meet Zhu Zheng Cheng, the famous Chinese pig with two legs. In the Hainan province in China in 2010, a pig was born with only its two front legs and it became an unlikely celebrity. Villagers called the 10-month-old animal Zhu Zheng Cheng, which means strong-willed pig. A few days after Zhu was born, Wang picked up the female piglet by its tail and taught it to walk. He said this, My wife asked me to dump it, but I refused as it's a life. I thought I should give it a chance and unexpectedly it survived healthily. After Wang's 110 pound piglet was born, there was a lot of fascinated visitors showing up at his house. Even though a circus offered a high price for the pig, he wouldn't sell. She proved to us that no matter what form life is, it should continue to live on, he said. I won't sell her no matter how much the offer is. In fact, a lot of Chinese people love animals, as shown by the huge number of well-loved pet dogs in China. People who are stupid and insensitive do a lot of bad stuff to animals all over the world, but the average person does care. Number 4. Taiwan, pig weighing 961 kilos wins fattest pig contest. Now let's go back to the 90s, when a 961 kilogram pig won Taiwan's fattest pig contest. It was the biggest pig on the island in 200 years. The monster pig was raised by farmer Chen Chang Sung in his village. But after a ceremony, Chen's family and friends killed the one and a half year old pig so they could eat it. Kinda brutal. It took almost 20 men to load the huge pig onto a truck so it could be taken from the village of the farmer Chen Chang Sung to a temple to be blessed. Raising a pig in rural Taiwan is a popular pastime. Chang's was one of the biggest people had ever seen. It ate leftovers for 18 months and got so fat that it couldn't walk. It would take a bath, listen to some relaxing music, and then go to sleep. This pig was huge, but that didn't save its bacon. After a proper ceremony at the temple, the animal was killed, and Chang's family and friends ate it all up. Apparently, it was really tasty. Number 3. Pigzilla. World record wild hog never seen before. Monster Pig was the subject of a controversial news story back in 2007. The story started out as a report of an 11-year-old boy shooting a huge wild pig. 
A hunter named Jamie Stone, who was 11 years old at the time, said he shot the massive pig. The shooting happened on a commercial hunting preserve called Lost Creek Plantation, which is near Anniston, Alabama. The hunter said the pig was nearly 2.8 meters long, and that's huge for a pig, for sure. But when inconsistencies in the story came to light, news organizations like NBC stopped covering it because they thought it was a hoax. Right away, people noticed that the photos of the pig were shown in the news seemed to have been posed and edited to make it look bigger. Later, it came out that the giant feral hog was actually a large farm-raised pig named Fred that the owner of the hunting preserve bought for four days before the hunt in what seemed to be a publicity stunt. Animal cruelty charges led to a grand jury investigation of the event in 2008, which was later canceled. So while this was a dumb prank, that's still a really big pig. Number two, micro pigs. From macro pigs to micro pigs now. In the past few years, the number of people who buy mini pigs has drastically gone up. But are micro pigs a real thing? Micro pig is a term for any smaller breed of pig, but they're also known as teacup pigs and pocket pigs. They're not a single breed, but rather a mix of different breeds that have been bred to be small. There's no doubt that they're cute. Pigs are, of course, smart, curious, and loving creatures. Some of the breeds of pigs that are sold as mini pigs are the Kune Kune, the Juliana, and the Potbelly Pig. But even the smallest breeds of pigs won't stay small for long. The American Mini Pig Association says that a standard mini pig can be between 35 centimeters and 50 centimeters tall and weigh between 50 and 150 pounds when it's fully grown. That's as tall as a Border Collie and can weigh as much as a St. Bernard. A miniature pig is a breed of pig that weighs less than 350 pounds, so like, that, that could still be a pretty big animal. Depending on the breed, pigs can become sexually mature as early as three or four months old. If you get a male and a female at the same time, you need to have the male neutered. Otherwise, there could be up to 14 piglets and a litter of pigs. At first, 14 piglets might just sound like too much cuteness, but you'll soon realize that living in a house with more than a dozen pigs is gonna be like a huge challenge. Number one, Cambodian farm breeds mutant Hulk pigs. I just know you want one more giant pig before we check out for today, am I right? Okay, how about these monsters? Photos of pigs that were raised on a farm in Cambodia and are very muscular have been going around the internet, causing a debate about genetically modified animals. These pigs that look like the Hulk are bred by Durok Cambodia, a pig farm in the Bante Minchi province. The company's Facebook page is full of photos and videos of these weirdly muscular animals, which look like they were made by way of a lot of genetic tampering. Some people have said that the breeder messed with the pig's hormones and fed them steroids to make them look like monsters from some kind of nightmare. However, since Duroc Cambodia sells insemination kits to people who want to grow their own pigs, it's more likely that they were changed genetically. What's your favorite piggy out there? Would you like to adopt one like Babe Pig in the City? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.